Today, our state lawmakers return to work at the state capitol. Education, gun control, health care costs, and family medical leave are expected to headline this year's legislative session. Denver 7's Nicole Brady is live this morning. And Nicole, you're hearing from both parties about their priorities. Yeah, and all of the issues you just brought up certainly are going to be introduced this year. We actually already got a look at the first five bills that Democrats plan to introduce in the Senate during this legislative session, and a lot of them have to do with jobs and helping Coloradans save money. One bill already plan it, planned uh, would create a grant program to help spur job growth in rural communities. Another would help in-state college graduates by having the state pay for their first two years of loans as long as they commit to stay in Colorado. And Democrats are going to once again push for pay paid family leave. A study on that is expected to come out today. Democrats say that's an area where Colorado is behind. We continue to hear about how our economy is working uh, better than most across the country in terms of uh, the state and unemployment, uh, but that it's leaving a lot of people behind and the cost of living continues to go up. Republicans, meanwhile, are pushing for things like protecting gig workers in Colorado and giving businesses incentives if they want to offer paid family leave. They also say they're committed to not enacting any new taxes for Coloradans. If you look at reports in Colorado, we are the number one economy and then we're starting to trend the opposite way. And I think it's because of policies that were done last year. And while both sides, of course, say they want to work together and spoke of bipartisanship, one political analyst we spoke to said she expects a lot of fighting over money this year. The state budget won't come out until the end of March, but that is already going to be top of mind as the legislative session kicks off at 10 a.m. this morning. We're live outside the state capitol. Nicole Brady, Denver 7. All right. Thank you, Nicole.